Hi, welcome to Fitness Integrated Science TV. I am Lauren Urk, and in today's video, I'd like to show you a little bit about the chest muscles and how to make them stronger. Now, when we think about the chest muscles and we think, why do we need our chest muscles to be strong? From an aesthetic standpoint, women might want to lift their chest or men want to be able to bench heavier. But from a mechanical standpoint, our chest muscles actually assist us in our breathing. When we take that deep breath in, because they do attach onto our ribs, they actually help our ribs to move so that we can pull enough air into our body. Now the chest muscles attach onto the clavicle, the breastplate, as well as those costal ribs, and they make their attachment all the way into the upper arm. Because of that, this helps us to push things out of the way or reach up over the head, which is really important in our daily lives. Now there are lots of things that we can do right at home to make our chest muscles actually stronger and this can range from a piece of tubing, body weight, or even a set of dumbbells. So the first exercise that I really love to do is the classic dumbbell pre uh, press. And this doesn't require anything but a set of dumbbells or anything heavy, even a set of soup cans will work, and a floor. So as we position the weights directly on top of the shoulders, we start by separating those weights out to the sides. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and let my elbows bend to minimize stress on my shoulders. I wanna keep those weights just above the shoulder. The moment I'm getting ready to touch the ground, I wanna redirect that, press the back of the shoulders into the ground, and then move the elbows towards the midline so that I can really squeeze into those chest muscles. Now, this is the classic dumbbell chest press, and I'm working right across what I might call the sternal pec, the center of my chest. If I want to move this in more of a fly, in other words, let's say that I'm gonna let the weight move outside of my elbow. Well, I've just increases the, increased the forces on my shoulder, particularly the shear forces. So because of the distance between my shoulder and the weight, I may need to bend my elbows just a little bit or even lower the weight. But both of these exercises are gonna be great for building our chest muscles. Now, the chest is actually spanning a lot more than our sternal region. We actually have what we might call an upper pec and a lower pec. So to get that upper pec, I'm gonna need something behind me, and I'm just gonna use this little sponge ball. Some of you may have benches at home or even large stability balls, but you can see that now my shoulder is actually, what's facing the ceiling is a little bit higher. So this time you can see that my weights are slightly above where they just once were. So now when I go into that basic chest press, not only can I go below where the floor was, in other words, my elbows can drop behind my body a little bit, I'm actually pushing up a little bit higher. This is gonna get a little bit more into my clavicular pec, as well as the upper portion of my sternal pec. And these are, again, gonna be very important towards reaching over the head and placing things in that overhead bin when you're getting onto an airplane. We also want to hit the decline fibers of the chest, and those are going to be the ones that are going to surround that costal pec. One of the things that I like to do is come into a bridge position. So now when I'm here, you can see that the shoulder is below the line of, of my sternum. And now when I bring my weights up, my weights are actually below the shoulder, uh, the shoulder region where I was. Now when I come down, I can actually push a little bit closer to my navel, and this is gonna bring the lower pec fibers directly in opposition with the force of gravity, as well as this dumbbell. This is one of my favorite chest exercises, and I really believe this works more of the overall pec. Finally, I could actually work with tubing at home. Now, tubing is tricky. Whenever we're dealing with chest exercises, we want our tubing to be actually attached away from us. Anytime the tubing is touching us, the resistance really drops off. One of the tricks that I've always used is just using my own body. So I'm just gonna attach this piece of tubing around one of my feet. Now, this can also be done sitting in a chair so that that way when I start here, I could actually begin by moving that band across my body, really targeting my chest muscles. With this, I can slightly angle my hand down for more of a decline press. I can go across for more of a mid press, or I might even be able to go up a little bit higher for more of an inclined press. Lastly, body weight training is always the best. Coming into all fours, I can decide how I'm gonna do my chest press 
whether it's going to be more narrow or more wide. But if I want to target my chest, I want to be in the exact same position that I was just in from my dumbbell press. I'm turning my hands slightly in. My elbows are going to point directly back from the center of my hand, tightening the abdominal muscles. We lower down into the push-up, being careful that we're not moving behind the hands so that we're actually deloading the pec. Then on the way in, I'm just very lightly pushing those hands together into the mat so that I can bias those muscles that cross the center of the chest. And obviously, depending on my goals, I might even want to bring those knees up off the ground. Either way, doing those exercises throughout your life will help you to be more functional in terms of breathing and daily activities that you might do. I hope this video helped. If you'd like more information and workouts about how to strengthen specific muscles like your chest, head on over to Fitness Integrated Science TV using the link below, and I have hundreds of videos for you. And also make sure to sign up for my weekly email for plenty of exercise tips and exercise motivation. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.